you all, Mother! Huge discounts on magic baubles! could armor such useful relics. Share in the plunder! By order of the All Mother, huge discounts on magic baubles. Again, I see. Of the elements world beyond your control? Fear not, I've every scroll you need. Soon the flames will dance at your behest and yours alone. By order of the All Mother, huge discounts on magic baubles. Could offer such useful relics. Share in the plunder. <laughs> Who knew vermin could offer such useful relics? Share in the plunder. A sharp oh, weapon order deals more damage. Mother. Huge discounts on magic baubles. Arcane texts of every kind. Get them before they turn to ash. Texts of every kind, get them before they turn to ash. I'd prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. The boot soles of Burl Boonhammer, what have we here? Another human in Hunter's Edge. <laughs> State your business, whelp. Hail, Immaculate. By the sickle of Tear Gut Gouger, I'm glad to see another human face here in Hunter's Edge. Not yet another misshapen orcish snout. If you fancy keeping that human face of yours, I wouldn't take my cues from the Chief of the Mountain Apes. I may have sworn to refrain from carving my name across his back, but yours, I do believe, is free for the taking. Regular ray of sunshine, ain't she? <laughs> Don't let a manners fool you, though. Her disposition may be dark, but her wit is bright. Bright and devious. Believe me when I tell you that she's plotting against us as we speak, and would have long given the order to spill our blood if she wasn't leashed by the orders of the conduit herself. But by the shield of the Stormbringer, she'll not outfox the sworn brothers of Tanaroth. And I sincerely hope she won't outfox the likes of you either. You belong to the Silverglen tribe, I take it. Thought you were all holed up in Hyberheim. But it pleases me to see some of your number have come to Hunter's Edge. Yes, an outsider not as yet distrusted by the Orcs is exactly what I need in the matter of the missing bloodstones and the matter of the wizard's house. 
But let's talk in my headquarters over yonder. For by the beard of the bear slayer, there are too many green ears around here. The old mother! Huge discounts on magic baubles! <laughs> Overheating here. May your sword never sully and your shield never shatter. The bloodstones are the reason we came here in the first place. The conduit has need of star stones imbued with human blood so she can create her death knights. Both the Brotherhood and the Orcs were given their share of stones and we filled them to the brim with blood, then stored them for the conduit to collect when she returns from Phantom Forest. Last night, though, someone raided this very building and disappeared with our stones. They were being guarded by Garrick Giantbane, a son of the mountain I'd entrust with my life. Grutilda says he ran off with the bloodstones, that he is a betrayer to the cause of Immaculates. But I know this to be untrue. The Orc stole the stones. Of that, I'm certain. Gratilda is hatching some plan, and we'll all be in dire straits indeed if it comes to fruition. Those stones make her powerful. Too powerful. We need them back. But every Orc eyes us peak dwellers with suspicion. Yeah. That is why I ask of you to find proof. Proof that it was an Orc that did the deed. Once I have it, I have a reason to assault the Orcs without risking the wrath of the Conduit. She'll not stand for theft among Immaculates. So find me that proof, and we'll slaughter the Orcs together. Rains, but it pours, eh? By order of the old mother, huge discounts on magic balls. Oi! Yeah, the old mother says yeah, small right boats can eat the sheep. Tell us to stay in the warehouse. Tell the old mother you've got a problem with her judgment if you feel so strongly oh, about it. Mother! You'd like the that. Yeah, yeah. will burn your refreshment shortly. Walker, all the seems better. to be contemplating the torch Thirst by the fireplace. So you realise it is a rather weird spot to place one. I save you the, the finest paw. This swill is yes, hardly yes, better than swamp water. Right away, my good man. Perhaps you haven't heard, whelp. Every time a foot soldier disturbs me, I take his head to compensate for my time. Leader, a word that hardly suffices. I lead them as far as the head leads the body. They serve me and live in service to me. I am their all mother, the beginning and end of their very lives. I am loved by them. I am craved by them. I choose from among them he who pleases me, and I destroy the rest. The orcs of this tribe are executors of my will, no more. Naturally, there are few finer pleasures than standing before the fruits of one's labor. A stack of gold and goods to one side, and sopping sinews and bone to the other. Ah, divine. I've developed a particular affinity for tenebrium of late. The sheen of it rather pleases the eye. My boys know not to keep a shard of the stuff from me. Consider this your warning too. 
Miserable, you say? I quite like it. Save the altogether hideous pink apes infesting the place. But exterminating them was a rather titillating diversion, I must admit. The townsfolk here were no different from those in the north. The larger ones beg me to spare the smaller ones. The smaller ones bleat like lambs for the larger ones. Yet they each squeal just the same when you split their piggy skin from nose to navel. Yes, I dare say the wizard won't be so pleased with himself for evading us when he returns. His servant's entrails will be wreathed among his grapevines, and the rest of the villagers are already hacking away in the Tenebrium mines. Undead drones bent in service to the conduit. Our conduit didn't describe every detail of her plan to her mold-eyed pets in the mines. Well, no matter. It hardly concerns you, unless you can break the enchantments protecting his house. But that's a matter of magic, not the erotic virtues of your mother's rot-rancid corpse. I doubt anyone from Silverglen will be of use. So it seems, but even the cleverest magician cannot conceal his tricks forever. The wizard may have fled, but he left a passel of servants behind. Servants, I very much doubt, will be immune to the charms of my screws and cleavers. But how very obvious! Who better than a cow to bring a frightened calf back into the herd? Surely you and that bootlicker's sensibility of yours ought to have an insight or two into where a servant might seek sanctuary. Our rat catcher, regrettably, seems to be in need of some direction in the matter. I've had the pleasure of making his acquaintance. Careful. He was only just released from the hangman's cells. What was the case? Ah, yes. I believe he ordered his rats to chew out the tongues of every last infant within a western orcish tribe. An answer to some insult or other from the tribe's all-mother. Or so I heard. He's dangerous, yes, and quite mad, but I'd trust him with my own neck. There's not an orc in Rivalin that would dream of crossing Brutilda, no matter how mad. Who do you think it was what took God to your help? If I know, why are you so... Time. Uh, Been shut in a bloody squibble page again. Is <laughs> it just me? Who's again twirling here? Oh, I think I'll give myself some air. Resk, you've got to the count of one to kneel before me. Can't you see yes, me bloody yes, cup is empty? Away, my good man. Have you always been such a gluttonous idler? Oh, mother! You ought to make use of whatever lumps of flab you have before they're snatched away from you. It could happen That's at any moment. you the finest paw. Indeed, oh, mother, of course. Oh, no. spotted something.
texts of every kind. Get them before they turn to ash. Who knew vermin could harbor such useful relics? Share in the plunder. <laughs> By order of the All Mother, huge discounts on magic baubles. <laughs> such useful relics. Share in the plunder. <laughs> Who knew vermin could harbor such useful relics? Oh, 
by order of the old mother. Huge discounts on magic balls. Such useful relics. Share it up, Nanda. Back again, I see. Of the elements world beyond your control? Fear not, I've every scroll you need. Soon the flames will dance at your behest and yours alone.
don't talk to the small bones, brother. It only makes eating them all of this pleasant later. Maybe we do. Me? I like to get off the tracks. What do you think you're doing? I know the way. He'll have none of that. Got my eye on you, small bones. Don't talk to the small bones, brother. It only makes eating them all of this pleasant later. Maybe for you. Me? I like to know a bit about my haggis. Mmm, <laughs> human haggis. Been too long, hasn't it, brother? Keep your faith in the old mother, brother, and it won't be much longer. Mend. Bless the seven, I am restored. Treasure. What a fine. No rats here, it seems. Perhaps they're all on the hunt. Or perhaps they made it into the barkeep's stores and now they're sleeping it off. Was Herschel trying to blow us to bits? Well, we've got the key in any case. 
Now to return it to one worthy party or other. Or have a look at that armory ourselves. I'll bet these soldiers keep a fine collection of equipment. I'm warm as fresh apple pie! I'm just fine, Sir Man. And you? Sit, sit, sit! 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 Down. New toys! New toys! <laughs> but... Something's wrong. This is the monster who killed all those villages? This... This... child? You want me to, but this can't be right. The orc, I remember, he was... He was evil. A sadistic monster. This is... Oh, my head is spinning faster than a broken bumblebee. Let me... Let me get a good look at him. Hello. I remember you. We used to be friends, didn't we? Yeah, we were great friends. We played all the live long night and I made pretty red ribbons up and down and down and up your face. Where'd your ribbons go? Do you want I should give you small? This isn't right. I'm gonna be sick. It's all right, Medora. We're here together. No harm will come to you. Sorry, pretty toy. Oh, please, please don't shout. Oh, Mum will be awfully cross if I make a ruckus. Mum! Oh, the best mum in the whole wide world. Usually, orcs like me, well, scramble-headed, me brothers call me, are killed right away. But Mum says she took one look at me and knew I'd be the best warrior in the world. She brings me lots of toys and friends, and she showed me all the best games to play. At first, I, I didn't like how the toys would holler and cry when I'd make ribbons on them or play eyeball pop. But Mum taught me that that's how they show they're happy. First, they scream for joy. And then they take a long, long nap. Grutilda. Yeah, that's my mum's name. <gasps> Did you meet her? Did, did she want us to play together? Comrades, my mind's racing and my heart's going like a snare drum. To be here, face to face with my greatest enemy and to find that he's... He's not at all like the villain I'd worked up in my mind. It's... it's unimaginable. I've hated him with every drop of blood in these veins. Hated him till my entire being screamed for revenge. But now I find he's as simple as a child. Maybe he even thought all the cruelty, the death he inflicted was... a game and all around us. More victims. And years stretching behind us. And years stretching ahead of us. More dead bodies tortured and wrung by his hands. But you, comrade, time and again you show me the valor inherent of forgiveness. You face the impossibly cruel or weak and you offer them a second chance. Still, I... I cannot forgive this monster. He may well be confused, and he may have been mistaught, but that won't stop him from killing again. Ho, oh, comrade, in the name of the Order of the Sauce Hunters, I ask you to lay down forgiveness and to join me now. To arms! Uh, uh, are you mad at me? Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever it was, I I'm not doing it again. Oh.
eyes to this queen! didn't spare a soul. None that couldn't serve them whiskey, anyway. <sighs> Murdered in their beds. At least they didn't suffer. The villagers left to the Orc Queen suffered far worse fates. 